Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to be talking about our pets. Now I have a dog and I kind of tend to overspend a little bit on him, but that's because I'm so obsessed with him and I love him so much, I want him to have everything. And plus there are a few dog items that are pretty cute and how can I just say no? So to start off, I'm just gonna tell you everything that I bought for my dog. So let's start off with the essentials. So first you need a feeding bowl, right? So we have two of these. So it's like a red solo cup type of bowl. And we have one for his food and one for his water. And it's pretty fun, right? But hold on, we need another one. He eats his food way too fast. So I got him a wobble. So we would put his food in here inside this hole and he would roll it around, have fun, it's like a game, and that helps him eat really slow. It works. But hold on, that wasn't good enough, so I got another one. A fun feeder. Yes, it's pink, and yes, he's a boy. Don't worry, we still use the this one for water while the other one just kind of hangs out around there. Next up are leashes, okay? So first I got a retractable leash. This is actually my second retractable leash. The first one kind of broke. Um, but hey, this one's lasting, it works. That obviously wasn't enough. So of course I saw an ad on Instagram for something that looked really cool, a cool looking leash. So of course I had to get it. So I got a blue colored one, it has a knot here. It's pretty long. I think it's called Coda leashes or something, I don't know. So you focus on that seat and then you turn it to lock it and then he won't be let go. Not a bad idea, right? But hold on, I got another leash, of course. Actually from my dog trainer. Um, it's one of the best leashes I've heard. So this guy at PetSmart, this guy at PetSmart actually um, gave me a compliment on this leash. He's like, where'd you get it? I said, I got it from my dog trainer. Um, he's like, oh, it's one of the best leashes. It's a lifelong leash. Okay, I'm glad because I really like it. It works, I take this with me to the dog park. That way I can just put it over my shoulders and just walk around. Much easier than carrying this heavy leash around. And I just like it. And then I was at TJ Maxx yesterday. And yes, I did have to get something. I actually get a good majority of his things from TJ Maxx. Like this dog leash hook. And I have all those leashes. I have to have somewhere to hang them. So why not hang it on this thing? That's pretty cool, right? Then we have this other leash our dog trainer told us to get. But right now he's wearing something similar, a little bit better. It was actually a little bit cheaper too. Um, but it's uh, one of these and I forget the name of it. This one is supposed to light up. It was one of those free collars that they were advertising on Instagram or Facebook. I don't know. I bought three, one for me and all my friends because I have two other friends. And this had just stopped working on me. Um, it's supposed to light up. Sometimes if I, oh, if I bend it the right way, it will light up. Nope. And it will flash if it listens. Well, maybe not, but that's what it does. Speaking of TJ Maxx, I want to tell you more of what I get from there. So I always get poopy bags from there because they're cheaper and you get a whole bunch for a lot less. So we're almost out with this bag right here. It actually came with this poopy bag holder that's on the lifelong leash, right? So this came in with this bag. So yesterday I got some more. Yes, it's in another bag. No, I did not get another poopy bag holder, but they have different colors and I just really like this one. I also get pet wipes from TJ Maxx because sometimes Washing him can be a lot of work, or he just makes a mess on his butt when he takes a number two. So, I get these pet wipes, and they really work out well. I like them a lot. These were only $4.99, so five bucks, not bad. It's a lot, it's a lot of dog wipes. I have a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. His name is Biggie Smalls. He's a year and a half old right now, and he sheds a lot. So, we first got this brush, and as you can see, it's just a normal brush. Um, It doesn't, it does an okay job, you can see some fur. It just wasn't getting the job done. So, yeah, to get another one. We got the Furminator. And I love it, you can actually see some fur on that right now, probably. 
I mean, I still love him. I don't love him any less just because he shed so much. Ah! It also came with this. Well, actually, we got it from Amazon, so it was we bought it separately, whatever. Um, but it's supposed to help with shedding in between. Um, I think it works. I mean, I don't really know, but I use it anyway. And then we got some nail clippers because sometimes he will let me trim his nails myself, but sometimes he doesn't. But at least I got these just in case he does let me. We also got some moisturizing waterless shampoo spray for Biggie Smalls. That's my dog. That's his name. Isn't it amazing? Um, I like this. He smells amazing like he just came out of like the dog salon. I love it. Also from TJ Maxx. Also $4.99. Now let's talk about some costumes we have here. Our outfits, not costumes. Costumes are for Halloween. But let's start with Halloween. He has a Spider-Man Halloween costume. Now we got this not knowing if it would fit on him. I think I got it at a discount store. I don't know if it was TJ Maxx or straight from Amazon. I can't remember. It was last year. Um, but it is a little tight on him. Um, but I love it and I'm going to keep it because it's hilarious. He's not fat. He's big boned. Another Halloween costume he has is a Heinz ketchup bottle. It's one of the best from Goodwill. We got to represent, so we got a little bandana for U of A here, my school. Um, he looks great in it. He really just looks great in everything. Now after Halloween, we got to go to Christmas, so we got him a little reindeer outfit. He hates it. Um, it's not his favorite, but he can jingle around while he walks around in it. Um, it's the cutest thing ever. It just doesn't really always stay on his head, but I think it works out fine. So we're gonna keep it. We also have this little Jingle Bell collar and I got this off the little clearance box at PetSmart after Christmas. So uh, he hasn't worn it for the holidays yet, but he will this year. Oh, and I forgot I skipped out on the 4th of July. We got this from Amazon. Um, it's just a little 4th of July ribbon bow. Um, I love it. He hates taking pictures in it but that's okay because he will listen to me and give me what I want. We have a few little jersey outfits. Now my boyfriend is from Tennessee, so he's got to represent Tennessee, as well as Arizona. So we have this little Tennessee college jersey, and I love this one. This is one of my favorites on him. But we got this for him when he was a puppy, so he looks a little bulky in it. Same thing with this other one for the Tennessee Titans. Same thing, because we got both of these at the same time. Maybe. Um, but, I mean, how can I give these up? And we'll probably just make them, make him wear them again. I forgot to mention, Biggie also has a raincoat that I got from Chewy.com. It is just the cutest thing ever, and I think it's hilarious. It just makes me laugh. Um, look at him go. And of course, what outfit is complete without a dog coat? That's right, so here he is ready to take on winter. We've used it once last season. And look, here he is, absolutely loving life. Dogs love outfits, wow. Biggie, you tell him. All right, now it's coming off. Okay. We have a toothbrush for him. He doesn't let me use this anymore. This is actually pretty gross right now, so I might throw this out, but we still have the toothpaste, and my vet told me as long as I just Put it on my fingertips and just kind of rub his gums, which he does let me do. Not that easily, but I can do it. Um, he'll, he'll be good to go. Now let's talk about some of his toys. Does he have a lot? Yes. Do I still keep buying them? Yes, I still buy all of the toys in the world. Of course, I got the bin from TJ Maxx. It's cheap, it's nice, why not? So, here it is. His little bin of toys. He loves it, he knows where it is, and he knows how to get his toys from there. Okay, so this is a little chew toy. As you can see, it's destroyed. He's sharpened the end of it, probably to kill us in our sleep. Who knows, we'll find out. Um, in it, ooh, a little treat fell out. Oh, that must be really old. This toy I got for free from the vet came from a bully make box. He actually doesn't play with this that much, so I don't know why I still have it, but you know, I have a bin and it holds everything, so why not keep it? This one we got from Target. As you can see, he rips it to shreds. There's a little piece right here hanging out and about. This was one of the first treats we got for him, or actually a toy that hides treats. It's a little coffee mug. It's really dirty right now. This one I just got from Petsmart. I don't think it was too expensive. 
it would light up because he would like kind of lose the ball in a dark room, which I thought was weird because I thought dogs had great vision at night, but I don't know, Biggie's questionable. He absolutely loves it and I'm surprised he hasn't break broken it yet. So it's funny how things work out and that this is his absolute favorite toy. This is one toy. I think I got this from Amazon and it has a little hole in on each end. And I cut the little, there were little pieces in here that made it a little harder for the treats to come out. So I cut it off. And what I do with this is I put carrot pieces or little pieces of his treats. I cut them up into small bites and I put them in here. That way he can keep busy while I'm trying to work or watch TV. What we have left are little chewed up pieces of little plush rabbits and plus drumsticks. Oh, for all over the place. So I was reading about some of the healthy human treats that dogs can have. And one of those are carrots. And he loves carrots. So um, I will give these to him every now and then. Um, it's not fattening, it's good. He loves it, he'll eat it. Not like celery. Biggie hates celery. He just chews it up and leaves it on the floor. And I'm like, oh, why? But that's okay. Because we also have green beans. So this is an organic bag of green beans. I got this at Target yesterday. I like to freeze the green beans and I'll give them to him and that way he'll kind of take a while to eat them up or I will put them in one of his little treat toys like this. So I'll put some green beans in here and he'll actually take a while to take them out. And it works out and he loves it and it's healthy. Everybody wins. But you might be wondering, do you ever give your dog real dog treats? The answer is yes, of course. How can I not? So. I got these from TJ Maxx, they were only like four bucks. They are carrot flavored because, well, I didn't want to get the chicken flavor because that wasn't on sale. So I got these. He likes it, he'll eat anything except for celery. I also got these at Target, they're sup bones, tasty, longer lasting chews for dogs. I've never gotten these before, but I gave him one the other day and he really seemed to like it. We were actually using these treats a while ago. Um, we got these at Walmart, uh, we're running low but we gotta use up all the crumbs, okay? And then we have his big bag of dog food. So we get the Purina Pro plan for him, sensitive stomach, I don't know why. I just took a quiz on the website and it told me this would be good for my dog, so that's what I got. What do we keep his dog food in? Well, we keep it in this nice fancy jar. Ah! Got it from Walmart. Check it out, it's like a giant mason jar. And I think it's just so cute and I thought it was perfect for his dog food. So we're gonna have to fill this up. So we've talked about his dog food, his treats, his toys, but one part of the essentials that we forgot to mention are dog beds. And yes, I said dog beds because I have more than one for him. Okay, so the first dog bed we got for him is this. It's just a gray, small dog bed, right? He actually chewed up one of the, oh, here it is, one of the corners right here. Um, so when he gets mad, he throws little temper tantrums and he just pull, moves his bed around, okay? That's just what he does. And this is one that we used to have in the living room, but we moved it into our bedroom so he could sleep in that room and not on our bed. He does both, it's up to him, we don't mind. But we also have a blanket. Oh, we got that bed from TJ Maxx. We also got this blanket from TJ Maxx. Um, it has little little dog prints on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it is really meant for dogs. He pulls this around too when he gets mad. He just likes to throw things around. Okay, so I said we moved that little bed into the bedroom. That means we had to get another bed for the living room. So we got this giant pillow-like bed. Um, so there's the front, there's the back. It's big, it's flat, he likes it. He also will throw this around. He'll like bunch it up and lay on it. He has a big personality. Look, it's love, it's love, say hello. <laughs> so Biggie has a number of different sleeping options and that includes the bed in the living room, the bed in our bedroom, our bed, under our bed, just on the floor and you might be wondering is there one more option the answer is yes of course and here it is a dog teepee Ooh. 
it just makes me laugh and that's really why i got it i thought it was hilarious like how can i say no to a dog tp does he love it no is he afraid of it yes but do i still love it of course so we're gonna keep it out so right now it just hangs out in our bedroom he never goes in it i'll try to throw in some of his toys in there and he still won't really get in it um He's just afraid of it for some reason. Maybe it's too small. Maybe he's too big, but he does fit. I know it. So I'm hoping one day eventually he'll love it. But maybe if we get another Corgi and that Corgi is still a puppy, maybe they'll go in the tent and absolutely love it. And then they'll get some use. So you see, my 25 bucks didn't go to waste at all. All right, guys, so that is everything I bought for my dog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some ideas. And I hope if you find a pet teepee that you get one too. Biggie's trying to talk to you. He loves it. Just kidding. He still hates it. But say bye. Bye-bye.